a grin of cold bath, a grin of icy lakes. What's the health benefits? There are many benefits. Um, the principle is of cold. A cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. That, that is the simple one. The other one is we have 100,000 kilometers of uh, blood vessels inside. Uh, very primitive ones like capillaries. And then you have arteries and you have veins. They are all connected to the heart. We all know. Killer number one was cardiovascular related diseases in society. Why? Because all the cardiovascular uh, related uh, 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 system and uh, uh, related organs and everything are very bad exercised. They contain millions of little muscles to help the blood flow go through. But because we wear clothes all the time, we destimulate. We have a destimulative kind of behavior, conditioned. So the muscles don't work as much. Who's got to pay for that? Your heart. Your heart needs to pump more to get the blood flow through because the tone of the muscles in the vascular system, that means the mi millions of little muscles, they are not helping as much. So if you go into the cold shower, what happens? These little muscles begin to work. They begin to be stimulated. What happens more if you do this regularly, then the heart rate goes down with 20 to 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. And that means that there is no stress anymore. Besides of that, all the little muscles begin to work and help the blood flow, less stress, and the energy, because the vascular uh, system is a transportation system of the blood flow, it reaches much better the cells. And thus you get a lot more nutrients, oxygen and vitamins into the cells. That means a lot more energy. So much more energy and much less stress. That's the result of a cold shower a day. Yeah. How you hold the, you hold your breath? You could hold your breath for seven minutes underwater. Is that correct? Yes, yes. But it's not about competition. Yeah. Anybody, if I, 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 my oldest participant is ninety-eight years old, she loves it. She loves it so much. She told me. I told it my sister, ninety-six years old, and uh, they are doing it. And uh, so many people, all the people. They say, this is the principle of the rabbit. Where uh, all the life you go. Until you die, you should be able, like the rabbit, to flee, fight, and to find food. Isn't it? That is normal. What we see now in the elder homes, etc., people stashed away with 20, 25 cans of medicines, in staring in front of a TV, waiting until the agony of death is setting in. What kind of life is that? It's not there. What we should do every day is reminding, I say, Die once a day. For, uh, uh, learn to uh, fully live is where the fear of dying, of uh, the quality, the inequality of, of, of living is no longer there. This is what I learned when I swam uh, under the ice. I lost sight because my cornea froze. I had no goggles on under the ice, swimming, swimming, and suddenly I couldn't see where, where I was going. And there was a meter of thick uh, uh, ice beyond. I swam, I swam, I swam. I swam twice the, uh, uh, twice the record uh, distance and more, 113 meters. 50 was it uh, at that time. The other day I had to do that. It was a piece of cake because I got out alive. Why? I kept on swimming, swimming, trying to find a hole. And then a diver finally are uh, almost swimming swimming and sleeping 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 there i was uh, i never had felt the agony of drowning being that claustrophobic situation ice cold water in my breath hold uh, no no fear no nothing when i when they uh, brought me back to the 50 meter hole the first thing <sighs> You get where was where was everybody? But I did it, and there at that moment, I had a peak, absolute peak into a, a fearless state of being. We don't die. I I found the way we think about dying, it, it all ends over there, and that's why we have fear. But that's wrong. We have to go deeper to understand. That fear is bullshit. 
that we live forever and that we have a purpose here in this life to fulfill the soul itself and to make it understand instead of what we're doing now with the world, uh, serving uh, uh, people who gain too much money and who are abusing, corrupting, polluting the world, uh, uh, the cruelty in the world uh, against animals and people, war zones, disease and all. It is not necessary. It's time for change. And I went into t uh, nature and I found through going into the extremes, following my feeling, my feeling is my guide. Do not force. There is no force needed. Your feeling will show you are capable of so much more. And at least to realize the soul, who you are and what you are. And that is love. It's driven by love. It's a fearless state of being. And that is what I want to achieve.